Hey folks, Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player from Tasty Licks Barbecue. That's right, Tasty Licks Barbecue Supply in Shillington, Pennsylvania. Check us out at www.tastylicksbbq.com. Hey, guess what I got here? One scrawny, puny little chicken wing. I only have one, and you know why? Because the other day, my friend Bob Smart. That's right, Bob Smart. You know why he's called Bob Smart? Because he is. Anyway, he came over to our store and he showed us all how to take a chicken wing like this here and debone it, take the bones out, and then stuff it with stuffing, and then we put it on the grill and we cooked them up using some Tasty Licks rubs and seasonings. Can you believe it? Anyway, let's roll the tape back and let's watch that demonstration. Here we go! Okay, so this is a bonus round today. I got my buddy Bob S. Bob S. from the Ceramic Grill Forum. He's one of our participants on there who always puts these fantastic looking dishes. And today, he came to the store and he's gonna show us how to make wing, chicken wing lollipops. Now, anything with chicken wings in, I want. And anything having to do with lollipops, I want. So that's two really good things. Plus, he's gonna stuff them, right Bob? Well, right, he's gonna stuff them, that's right. and stuffed wings, separately. So we're gonna mix some stuffing first. I'm not used to having people that can speak for themselves. Okay, wait, let's do that again. Okay, so Bob, what are you going to do with those chicken wings? Well, we're going to do two things today. We're going to start out by making lollipops, which is just another way to, to make and eat chicken wings. And then we're going to debone whole chicken wings, and we're going to stuff them with some good stuff. Fred's going to help me with that. And then we're going to grill those and dip them in some sauce and, and enjoy I, them later on. And, and i got to ask you, we're going to use my products, right? Absolutely. Okay, definitely going to use my products because they wouldn't be quite as good well without my products. Let's make sure of that, okay? That's my favorite. Okay, so let's get to show on the roast. So the first thing, you got some jalapenos, which, are you going to just roast those? We're going to roast these by putting them right directly on the lump and get them so charred you won't believe it. And then okay. we'll put them in a plastic bag and let them sweat. Okay, so let's do that. Let's show that. Cleaning the char off the jalapenos that were right down in the lump charcoal. Now you can put the seeds in if you really want to, right? Yep. But I'm going to ask you to take the seeds out. Okay. Because you know, a smoking guitar player has a delicate digestive system. <laughs> Water too, but it kind of takes some of the roasted flavor away. So. Right, and washes the flavor off the thing. I mean, a little bit of that charred stuff in there is still fine, right? Yeah. I was watching Randy do it one time with me, and he like left half of it. You know, it's not the seeds that are hot. Huh? It's not the seeds that are hot. It's the pith. Yeah, it's the the vein. It's the vein. Yeah, you can see it. You can see there's a there's a yellow stripe in it yeah. sometimes. It's the oil. Does everybody know that? The jalapenos, it's not the seeds that are hot, 
It's the vein, the, what they call the, the pith, P-I-T-H, the vein. If you look at them, sometimes you can see a yellow, a little thin yellow line in there. That's <laughs> the stuff. He's cutting the veins out. Does that look like enough? Probably. We got sausage, hot sausage, mild sausage, chopped up jalapeno jack cheese, and roasted, fire roasted jalapenos chopped up. I'm gonna mix it all up. Man, that smells good. And this is gonna get stuck in chicken wings. Wait till you see these deboned chicken wings or these lollipops. There's lollipops and then there's stuffed wings. They're different. It's good enough right there. See if I so can. you're cutting. I'm cutting around the the big end of the, all the way down to are the. Are you bone. cutting the skin? Of, are you cutting the meat? I'm cutting the meat Where down the around. Meat joins the end of the knuckle there. Right. Okay. You know, the stuffed ones. The lollipops are just chicken wings, shaped in a different shape. See this one now it's going to pop out. That's what I wanted it to do. So I, I pulled it down and that's deboned. These two bones popped out. And so there's practically no cutting on this now. This that comes out like that. So okay, but the in. big bone is still in there in the other piece, right? Yeah, but I, but it's but it's only connected right down there at the by the, you just basically cut it off. Did you see it, Tyler? Watch it close. Here comes another one. Folks, he's deboning chicken wings. We're going to stuff them. Now that one broke, that one broke bad again, so I gotta peel it back and... This stuff? Yeah. Even when you're fighting them, they don't take too long to do it. Let's see if I can get another one to break it off. Okay, so you're cutting through the meat. I'm going to explain what you're doing. You're cutting through the meat around that top knuckle big part of, on the first bone of the chicken wing and then I s just scrape with the side of the knife and the bone comes out there and then what I would like to do is break this wing so that the two bones of the second joint there I've got another one that popped out pop out Pull those out.
Hey there, friend Bob S. here. Now, if you want to see any of Bob's cooking and anybody else's cooking, go to CeramicGrillForum.com. That's CeramicGrillForum.com. Or you go to TastyLixBBQ.com and click on Forum. Okay, so let's get to the business of checking out the chicken. Stuffed chicken wings. Now, Bob deboned them and he showed us how to do them. Then he stuffed them with this stuffing. And in the stuffing was Italian sausage meat, cream cheese, fire roasted jalapenos, pinos, and some Monterey Jack pepper jack cheese. Should be good. And some rub, some flying swine rub. Flying swine. Okay, so here it is. Let's cut it open and see what it looks like. Now we cooked them to an internal temperature of 160 degrees to make sure the sausage meat was cooked. And oh, they look pretty darn good. And I'll tell you, they smell fantastic. Now I'm gonna cut a couple pieces off here, and then I'm gonna take this in here, this in here fork. I'm gonna get myself a little dish so I don't make too much of a mess. I'm gonna scoop some of this stuff in there. And I'm gonna hoist it up to my mouth. That's good, man. You can get more of the stuffing. Man, that is good. You know what? The peppers. Hey. How's that look right there? There you go. Stuffed chicken wings. See you next time.